It's a quick trip to the polls. Just one race is on the ballot, but the impact is huge. The person who wins will be one of Georgia's next state leaders, representing eight South Georgia counties. Dean Burke is a doctor in Bainbridge and served five years on city council. I feel like I have that combination of experience, work ethic, and uh, ability to listen to the people in southwest Georgia find out what their needs are and translate that to in Atlanta. Former state representative Mike Cowan is a pastor in Coolidge. I have six years in Georgia House. Stepping over into the Senate, the people know me, I know them. Uh, I'll be uh, ready to go on day one. Um, I think I have a track record of, of not yielding to uh, political influence, the influence from Atlanta or the lobbyists. Burke says one of his top priorities, supporting farmers. They need to have support from the standpoint of protecting their water, from the standpoint of avoiding uh, excess regulations that can keep them from uh, making a profit. And if uh, they can't do their job, then all of us pay more when we go to the grocery store. Cowan says his main focus is public service. The issues in Georgia are almost the same every year. They're about the budget, the economy, jobs, uh, education and health care. I want to just go up to Atlanta and represent the people who elected me. Early voting ends Friday. District 11 includes Early, Seminole, Miller, Mitchell, Decatur, Grady, and portions of Colquitt and Thomas counties. The runoff election is set for Tuesday, February 5th. Live in the newsroom, Jade Belexa, WTXL ABC 27, dedicated to you.